Before I get started with today's video, I'm going to show you guys a little clip from a couple of days ago. Just got all my stuff for the PCB reroute. I'm gonna see if I can install all that when I get home before I have, I have a class at seven, so I have about three hours in between. I still have to eat. So I'm gonna see if I have time to do that and put my turbo inlet. You're taking a picture again. No, I'm ready. You ready? Yes. All right, this is a stock mouthpiece and this is the SMB turbo. You gotta show the angle. Yeah, so you can see just the size. Look at the holes. That's a big hole. Mm-hmm. That's how she likes it. And then, <laughs> she likes <the> yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at the look at the angle. Look at the angle versus look at the angle on the. All right, we, we, we Gucci. We Gucci. All right, look at the angle on the stock one versus this one. This one is just like a straight up ninety degree angle, but this one it has more of a. 45 degree angle, I would say. Are you sure it's 45? Uh, maybe 46. I think it's 47. 47. Ish. 48, 49. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, look at that. Just look at it. It's just a size difference. So that's going to create more airflow that's what to think. my butthole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as you guys just saw, I finally installed the turbo mouthpiece on the Duramax, the, the size difference from the stock mouthpiece and the SMB mouthpiece is insane. And I'm going to talk about the performance gains in a second. Also did a PCV reroute on that and I will show you guys what it looks like under the hood. Honestly, I was kind of scared uh, about doing the PCV reroute. As it turns out, it's really easy to do, but I was just really scared because this is my first diesel truck. So this is my first rodeo with diesel trucks and you know Duramax and you know Duramax in general. So you know it took me a while to uh, do study like research and learn about like the differences between LB7, LOI, and LBZ. And I'll be making a video on why I chose an LOI instead of LB7 and uh, LBZ Duramax. But yeah, like I said, this is my first Duramax. I'm pretty new to you know diesel world I just got that truck in January like earlier this year so I still have a long way to learn but I do my research you know it, it basically every day and I try to do research for you guys so that way whenever I'm doing mods on my truck I can learn about what I'm doing so that way I can relate that message to you guys because a lot of you guys have messaged me telling me that uh, my videos have helped you with your Duramax build and that's what I want to continue to do I want to continue to help you guys out so PCV reroute, I was kind of scared because, you know, this was my first, I mean, I don't know, I just don't really like messing with the engine and I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, so I was just kind of scared, I was like, man, I don't really want to I don't really want to mess with anything. Although the turbo mouthpiece seems really easy, so I wasn't really scared about doing that. But I, I just, I guess I just didn't understand the concept of the PCV and like the rerouting process. I don't know, I just... I didn't even really like try to figure out because I was just like, I don't want to do it. I'm kind of scared. I'll just have one of my buddies do it. But as it turns out, it was really, really easy. And I'm going to show you guys what it's like under the hood. Yeah, also the turbo mouthpiece install was fairly easy as well. So I, I did turbo mouthpiece and the PCV reroute, PCV reroute. And as it turns out, they're both really easy to do. And I definitely recommend doing that to your LOI Duramax. All right, so I honestly really wish that I would have done the turbo focus. I honestly wish that I would have done the turbo mouthpiece, you know, first thing when I got my Duramax, but I hadn't, you know, it was my first Duramax. I really wasn't sure uh, what I wanted to do and I wanted to do my research and I knew I wanted to do like aesthetic, like the uh, exterior first 
before I started uh, messing with the engine mods. And uh, the reason why I wanted to do it that way was because I knew I wanted to tune that truck, but I wanted to have the lift wheels and basically everything else done before I tune the engine because in order to get your truck tuned, you have to give your specs to the person that's you know going to be tuning your truck. And I kind of wanted to have everything done, like exterior-wise, like exhaust, intake, uh, lift, wheels, all that way, because all that factors into your tuning. So I kind of wanted to get all that done first before I, you know, send all my information to get it tuned. Because I didn't want to get it tuned with like stock everything, and then you know, six months later, I have to get another tune. So I, yeah, so like I didn't really even worry about doing any engine mods, but. If you have an LOI Duramax and you just got it and you're new to it, highly recommend the PCV reroute and the turbo intake on that. Do that first because I really wish I would have done it. Throttle response is ridiculously better. You know, people often talk about, oh man, like switching out the turbo in that really, really increases the uh, airflow in your, to your engine and your turbo and it really like wakes up the truck. I didn't really believe them because I was like, you know, it's just a mouthpiece. Like, yeah, it's sure, like, sure, it's gonna like make your truck ride better. But I was just like, is it really, really gonna make your truck ride that much better? And honestly, I personally, I personally was blown away by just switching out the turbo mouthpiece and doing the PCV reroute because the throttle response is so much better and the truck is definitely uh, louder. Turbo's louder, turbo spools up faster, uh, the exhaust is, uh, has like the deeper roar, and it's, it's longer and it's more consistent than before. And the, talking about throttle response, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot different. It, there's like, there's, there's not much of a lag anymore. So before I would step on it, and then it would take a couple of seconds, and then the truck would take off. Now it's pretty much instant when I take, when I step on it, it basically, the turbo, when I step on it, the turbo spools up right away, and then the truck goes, and then it just continues to go. So before, before the intake, I will step on it, turbo spools up, and then it kicks, lags, and then it kicks again. Now, it's like, now I step on it, turbo spools up, and it kicks, and it just consistently accelerates. And I'm, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Just by switching out one little piece, it increased the performance on that truck. I was pretty impressed for like, you know, a $200 mod. With that being said, uh, the blocker plate I ordered from Amazon. I just ordered like some, uh, yeah, like, I mean, it's just a blocker plate. So I got it from Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, I checked it, I just checked the tracking on it because it was supposed to get here like a couple days ago. It just got lost. Uh, it says, it said, whoops, we may have lost your shipment. That's why it hasn't been here. I guess I'm gonna have to contact them. So I'm gonna check back on like Tuesday or something to see if they, if they shipped it by then. If not, I'm gonna request a refund and I'm gonna go with another company and get another blocker plate. Uh, so if once the blocker plate comes in, obviously ordering the tune is next. And I'm fairly sure, like 90% 90, 90 sure that I'm gonna go with PPEI tuned by Corey Willis. So. That should be exciting. I'm excited. I don't think I'm gonna get the DSP5 switch because I plan on getting the uh, the edge monitor on my truck, and just no need to get that switch. You know, it's like 30 bucks or something, but no need to get that switch if I'm gonna get the monitor on my truck. I'm probably just gonna keep it on the economy tune for the most part, like 80%. So uh, there's no really need for me to have a switch that. I mean, it would be nice, but there's really no need for me to like be able to switch on the fly because it'll be on the stock optimized or economy tune for like 90%. So there's that. But let me show you guys under the hood. Still gotta wash the truck from a couple days ago from when we worked on the inlet.
my grill looks pretty nasty too, but I'm planning on getting a new grill, so I don't really feel like um, doing anything to this one. I'll probably just clean it, but let's see. All right, so that right there is the turbo mouthpiece right there, and that is blocked off because that is typically where this section, this tube, would go in, but I rerouted it. So this is what's called the PCB reroute. You're taking this all the way out through the frame and you're gonna dump it out because you don't want this going back into your turbo. So this is it, and this is the PCB reroute. It just goes down there, follows the frame, and it just gets dumped right over there by, by, by the body mount. Right, right there. And I still gotta hire those wires, so don't judge me. But yeah, that's it. Gotta clean the truck. The hardest part about that was just finding a comfortable spot on your hood to sit on because, man, it is just so uncomfortable. And I was just like, it kind of sucks having a lifted trunk when you have to work inside the engine because like your legs cramp up and you have to get a stool. So it just, it kind of, it's inconvenient sometimes. But uh, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Oh, by the way, let me show you guys what it sounds like in the truck. All right, so the turbo definitely spools up a lot quicker. All right, so I'm going down this hill and after this hill, I'm gonna be going up the hill. So I'm just gonna accelerate up to like maybe 35, 40. Throttle response is great. The turbo spools up a lot quicker. Uh, let me, whenever I get on the main road, I can, I'm gonna try to floor it up to maybe 50, 55. sometime this week and then after that I'm gonna go ahead and just tune this truck so this month of December is gonna be exciting because I'm gonna finally tune the truck and I may have a few other surprises coming for you guys so make sure to hit that subscribe button and please get please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time peace